So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi there, I'm Michael and this is Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 12th of June 2017. So as always we're going to start with the week in review, what we've had for the past week on the channel. So there were actually nine videos this week, which is a huge number. You know, I usually aim for four or five. There's kind of a good reason for this though. Firstly we had Click Click Boom preview, so this is a very social deduction-y type game, kind of crosses bang with Hanabi. I've actually really enjoyed it, um, so I highly recommend if you, you're looking for party games at all that you do take a look at that, and the game is currently up on Kickstarter. Uh, then after that we had five videos for Great Western Trail, so obviously that's a big part of the nine videos there. Um, the reason for five, well, we had How to Play, uh, which I thought I did a very good job on, and hopefully other people agree, and I feel there was a lack in the market, actually, for How to Play, so um, hopefully that will do very well. Uh, there was then Playthrough, and it's quite a long game, so the playthrough ran to two parts. Um, with editing and stuff, that's actually pretty quick compared to how long it would actually take me to play the game but I guess that's because all the thinking time is cut out um, so total for both parts is about an hour I tried to make them about half hour-ish each really um, and then we also had a short review and a full length review so the full length review is basically my full thoughts and then the short review is just it all kind of condensed down um, for those who have less time really uh, what else did we have then? Um, oh, the overview of the UK Games Expo 2017 weekend. So this was just kind of a video compilation of some of the things I saw and did over the weekend at the UK Games Expo. Um, primarily showing you what demos and overviews I had that were recorded. Um, so if you want to kind of see what's going to be coming in the near future on the channel with regards to um, the footage for that, because that's going to be coming out, and that that's, has already started coming out actually, um, then do take a look at that. And also if you just want to get a kind of idea of what exactly the UK Games Expo is, then it's a nice place to start for that as well. Uh, so, um, after that, yes, there was more. Uh, we, oh, Friday we launched Two Can Win That Game. So, yeah, this is every quarter I like to do giveaways. I like to give back to people, help promote the channel a bit. And, yeah, as I say, I like, I like giving. Um, actually, it doesn't do that much good for the channel. It boosts the figures, don't get me wrong. But long-term actual gain and viewers, it doesn't help that much. But I still, I love doing it. I, uh, like, it, I, I was at the expo and one of the previous competition winners was like, oh yeah, I won your competition, I'm loving the game. And it's, it's just really nice to be able to share that with people and, yeah, to give people such fantastic games. Um, so, yeah, uh, what we're giving away this time is Great Western Trail. It's running up till the, I think it's 29th. Um, but anyway, you can watch that. That's got the dates in and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll put a link in the description if you just don't want to watch that and want to jump straight to the competition. I'll put that in there as well. Uh, usual deal being done through Gleam and you'll get entries for what you're hopefully already doing, which is following the channel and watching the videos on the channel. Um, so yeah, uh, if, if you're already doing that stuff, might as well go enter and get a free game, even if you just end up selling it on, I'm fine with that. Uh, then, finally, we had the first of the uh, recordings from the UK Games Expo, uh, or the first I've brought out, it wasn't the first one done, or was it? I can't remember. 
uh, but there was an overview of Dice Hospital. So what happened is Press Preview wasn't really able to play and get demos of games, but was able to get kind of overviews and look at the game and just talking about the game. So I've recorded um, a load of those overviews and then also the demos I had over the course of the weekend. And what I'm going to be doing is kind of interspacing the overviews with, and the demos, so it's not just all the overviews, all the demos. Um, and they're going to be yeah, coming out as, as and when I'm able to get them um, kind of tidied up. I need to you know, clean up all the audio as best as I can. Um, sync up the audio, cut beginning and ends of recordings as best as possible, cover up um, errors where cameras died or recorders died, etc. Um, thankfully, not too much of that, but yeah. Uh, so, Dice Hospital is kind of a worker placement dice manipulation game. Uh, if you want to find out more, you can watch the overview. Also, with this being only the second convention I've done live recording at, I did it at Aircon earlier in the year, and I had a lot of comments that the audio was particularly bad, especially bad compared to other people recording at conventions. So I'd really appreciate any feedback that you might have. Uh, do As always, you can let me know in the comments here or on that video or any of the other videos, really. Um, or Facebook, Twitter, you know, whatever medium you choose to contact me. Uh, I really appreciate it. So that has been the week. What has that meant? Well, figures-wise, we're around 17 and a half months of the channel now. And Facebook, we have 2,808 likes. So this is actually less of an increase than I expected with the uh, giveaway going on. Because um, we did see a big bump in things from the uh, two can win that game. But I was expecting more. And I think maybe part of that is because the main place that I do my sharing and promoting is Facebook. Um, a lot of the people who are seeing my stuff on Facebook, have, I, I've reached more people there. And then the other figures have seen more of a boost because it's people who may follow me or know me on Twitter, on Facebook, sorry, um, than doing so on the other mediums. So, uh, yeah, that's Facebook. Twitter, we're at 10,048. Woohoo! 10,000! Uh, we've been so close to that 10k mark for a long time and uh, we've just kind of been going up a little, down a little, up a little, down a little. Uh, and most recently actually quite a lot of downs going on. So obviously this is because of the giveaway. Um, I'm in no delusions. Um, I have not actually noted down the figures here. Um, but the number of entries into the giveaway is about 170. Um, when I checked, I'm sure it was something like that. Um, so the fact that we've seen just over a hundred new Twitter followers and, you know, it's over a hundred, yeah, and, you know, looking at the entries people have gained and stuff, it does look like that is completely down to the uh, competition there. Then with YouTube, the subs have gone up to 4,364. A surprisingly similar amount to the Twitter followers. Um, again, a little over, well, a bit over 100. Um, as I say, very close to the increase we've seen on Twitter there. Again, I think this is because of the giveaway, and you can look and see exactly which day those kind of came in on both Twitter and the subs on, on YouTube. Um, the day the giveaway went live on the Friday, boom. So it's kind of clear that that's what it is. Uh, and the final figure, of course, is our views. 231,185, which is an increase of over 5,000. So uh, we had a target of 4,000. This has meant that we've beaten that. What has been the cause? Again, as I say, you can see the figure. It's the giveaway. People want Great Western Trail, it seems. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, about 800 of those 5,000 views are as a result of the giveaway uh, quite directly and obviously correlated to that giveaway which kind of makes me think about the fact that I did advertising at the UK Games Expo I did speak about this last week and I said well maybe you know people take it home they read it in the following week etc maybe I'll see an uptake in the next week no so uh, yeah if you're considering as YouTube, blogger, etc. Advertising um, at a convention in convention. 
book, um, I'd say don't bother. I've spoken to people online about this over the past week. Um, just trying to gauge, you know, do people actually read programs, etc. And if they read the programs, do they actually read the adverts and pay any attention to them? Majority answer is no. Now, it's interesting because I've spoken to some people who did a heavy amount of advertising, who had stands there and games there, and they said people kept saying, oh, we saw you in the program and then we've come. And then I've spoken to other people who haven't had that at all. So it's a very... I don't know, it's very hard to judge. I think maybe it would be more worthwhile if you had a stand and you're directing people there immediately so that those looking through the program then go um, and still, you know, you have your websites there, etc. for afterwards. I think for a YouTube channel, as I've seen, it's just not worth it. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Um, oh, yes, so what else... Well, as I say, figures-wise, it's the videos for Great Western Trail. They've been driving um, the bulk of views. Well, not the bulk of views. They have had the most views. And as I said, it's about 800 or so. Um, and that was in the space of, like, a day or two. Because don't see the figures aren't real-time. So I don't see the full amount. Um, so, yeah, it's quite clear the giveaway is responsible um, because it's the videos that are linked in the giveaway. So, yeah... Uh, not really sure what else to say on that really it's not good, it's not bad, it, it simply is um, I know the giveaway has a, a high effect um, and that it is a temporary effect but let's move on mm, tea. so arrivals um, I've actually got two arrivals um, one is Oh My Goods which I played at the UK Games Expo and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lovely game. Um, and I don't have that many small box games, especially small box games that are so portable, so easily playable and teachable that um, would just go down well. And I mean, the price, I, I got it for £8. It's like, you're going to pay 8 quid for it. It's like, why not just pick it up for 8 quid? You know, eight quid you pay it you you play it you know get get a couple of hours play out of that and you've easily got your money's worth um for those of you who don't know what it is um resource management really is what it comes down to resource management production you're getting an en production engine going in order to be able to buy more stuff to get more of an engine to get more stuff that gets you points to win the game um kind of typical Euro -E mechanic, but in such a small tight package, very nicely done. And then the other one was uh, NIMBY, which again I played at the expo, um, but it was on the Saturday when it was too busy to be recording. Um, I did like the game, and they were going through things post expo and said, Oh, we forgot to give you a copy, we meant to give you a copy to review. So they posted one onto me, um, so that will be coming at some point. I do not know when, uh, but this uh, nice little filler where you're just kind of going round a hive. Um, it's fairly interactive, moving people around, interesting way of moving and stuff. But anyway, uh, things will come later on on that. So, what will be coming this week then? Um, so, firstly, uh, more of the UK Expo footage. Um, my plan for my next one to be out is the City of Kings. So that's going to be a demo. I um, hope to have that out. I don't know, maybe tomorrow? We'll, we'll see. Anyway, um, it's going to take quite a while to upload. It's quite a long video. But uh, hopefully it'll be interesting for you guys to see. Uh, then we're going to have a preview of Galactic Warlords Battle for Dominion. Uh, that should be coming on Thursday, I think. That'll be out. Um, and I want to get small world videos done so as part of the kickstarter i did a poll for what game people would like to see me do videos for um, and small world was uh, the winner of that poll and i'll be doing another one for my backers um, probably probably around essen and then people can add in games they feel they'd like me to buy it from that are coming out at essen etc and i could try and get hold of those um, 
but yeah, Small World, for those of you who don't know, uh, light intro area control game. Uh, it's been out for a while, um, I think 2009, maybe even earlier. And yeah, it's um, you don't have randomness of dice rolls and stuff, fantasy setting. Uh, you'll be able to see the videos to see more. And then I want to try and get another UK Expo video done, uh, which is the overview I recorded for Century Spice Road with uh, SDVM. So that would be good to get done as well. And yeah, that's the plan for this week. Um, as always, got any questions, anything you want to talk about, just let me know on whatever platform you want to let me know on, really. And, you know, to do the whole subscribing, etc., to help my figures grow. Uh, so, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.